5S essentially is a process to ensure a safe, clean, orderly and a productive workplace. It is an approach to establishing standards that will allow you to detect an abnormality when it occurs. A process and a method for creating and maintaining an organized, clean, safe and high performance work area. A necessary conditioning discipline for action workouts. 5S can be used to understand three types of abnormalities. Quality abnormalities of defect or of repairing. Equipment abnormalities of breakdowns or downtime or quantity abnormalities of missing parts or overproduction. Here's another way of looking at it. Visualize how cowboys drive the cattle. Look here, five cowboys to drive 1000 cattle should take one look and be able to understand the situation, should be able to clearly differentiate between the normal and the abnormal, detect what is abnormal and that is why 5S is used. 5S is a prerequisite upon which we can lay standard work, flow production, visual controls and other just-in-time building blocks. 5S is interpreted from the Japanese language. As a result, you will find several translated words. What is important is the philosophy behind each concept. There are five Japanese terms, Seiri, Seito, Seso, Seiketsu, Shitseku. Seiri in English is sort and the concept is about proper arrangement, clearly distinguishing what is necessary, disposing of the unnecessary. Seto translates itself as set in order or simplify or straighten. It is about orderliness. Necessary items can be found and returned quickly and easily. Next is Seso which is about sweep or shine or scrub. It is about cleaning the workplace, floors or equipments and furniture, etc. Next is seketsu, which is about standardize or stabilize, is to maintain and improve standards in the first three S's. And finally, shitsuku, which is about self-discipline and sustenance. It is about discipline where you set out to achieve an environment where maintaining 5S becomes a habit. What is the 5S toolkit? First and foremost, 5S is a toolkit to establish a standard environment that will allow you to detect an abnormality when it occurs. A process and a method for creating and maintaining an organized, clean, safe and high performance work area. To employees, the benefits associated with 5S are that it creates a more pleasant work environment, it creates a safer workplace, and for the company, it creates higher quality and lower cost, ensures greater satisfaction for the customer. When you set out to establish a visual workplace, the first is sort. You sort through and sort out, distinguish between the needed and the unneeded item. Remove what is not needed. Work in progress items, equipments, documents, fixtures, machines, workbenches, computers, file cabinets, storage shelves. When in doubt, you should throw it out. In operations, we see a problem that there were certain disorganized parts and little work surface. What should you do? You should conduct the 5S activity to organize the workspace and red tag the unnecessary parts. As a, as a result, you will have a better organization, eliminated unused parts and more work surface. Before Kaizen, this is how the workplace looked like and after Kaizen, this is what it could become. Why is sorting important? Problems 
that could be avoided by implementing sort. You could save on the time being wasted for searching for parts and tools. If sort is not done, factories or workspaces become crowded and hard to work in. You have unneeded inventory and machines and they are costly to maintain. You have excess stock on hand hides problems in production. You have unneeded items and equipments which make it harder to improve the process flow. It creates a work environment where space, time, money, energy can be used most effectively. You may set out to classify the tools and supplies. You can set out to classify tools and supply location by frequency. If there is something that I need, let's say less than once a week, that's a low priority thing for me. Maybe I'll throw it away or store it in a distant place. If I need someone once a week, that's a medium priority for me. Store that together somewhere in the factory. A high priority tool or supply would be something that I need once a day or once the tag time. You must carry that or keep at the individual's workplace. The next S is the set in order, where you are required to organize the necessary item close to where they are needed and in such a way that they make any waste or abnormality apparent. Order items, location is self-explanatory, shadow boxes, uh, simple labeling could be used, color codes or paint lines, set limits of quantity, a place for everything and everything in its place is what is set in order. Why is set in order important? You could reduce certain problems. You could reduce motion waste, searching waste, wasted energy, reduce on the excess inventory. Defective products could be taken care of. Unsafe work conditions could be eradicated. Eliminate waste that you see around you. When you set out to implement set in order, you could use visual identification techniques of signboards, of painting, after 5S map, color coding, outlining. Everyone knows what goes where is the mantra here. As an example, as a part of operations, if you see that the mechanic brings tools from toolbox, which is many step away from the work area, try storm activity to design tool storage rank on smaller portable toolbox that rolls up to the work area. Visual identification of toolbox plus the work surface. What seems like an unorganized tool place right now, post the 5S, it could be sorted. Everything has a specified place of it being kept. Easier to access, easier to keep. Look at the pictures before 5S and after 5S. The next component is shine, which is cleaning as a form of inspection. Ensure that all equipment, tools and the entire workplace shines. Set out to eliminate dust, dirt, oil, scrap paper, broken skids, empty boxes. A clean workplace enhances quality, safety and pride. Why shine important? Problems that can be avoided by implementing shine are puddles of oil and water plus other debris can cause slipping and injuries. Defects are less obvious in dark and messy factories. Filthy environments can lower the morale for the people. It leads to machine breakdowns. Cleaning also means inspection. While you set out to implement shine, determine what to clean or inspect, assign responsibilities and determine how often. Make sure tools are available. Do the cleaning or the inspection. Correct any problems that you found. Workplace cleanliness is a responsibility for everyone who works there. Fourth is standardize. Make sure team members from every work area follow the sort, shine and set in order steps. Share information among teams so that there is no confusion or errors. Communicate about locations, delivery, destinations, quantities, schedules, downtime, procedure and standards. 
anyone should be able to easily and quickly recognize abnormalities. Standardize is important. If you do not standardize, conditions go back to the old desirable state. Tools become disorganized. Unneeded items accumulate in the wrong places. Make 5S a daily habit. To implement standardize, assign responsibilities. Integrate this into daily duties. Establish visual controls. Checklists. Put together prevention mechanisms. Don't let 5S end with this event. In operations, people are not used to follow the new regulation. You should design visual aids and not to empower people to follow the new rules. As a result, you will see discipline and compromise. Before Kaizen, no procedures or regulations available for, let's say, material handling. Post the Kaizen, you have SOPs and work instructions prepared for everything. That could be the implementation of the fourth S of standardized in 5S. The fifth S or sustain, scrupulously stick to the rules. Make maintaining correct procedure a steady habit. Drive discipline. Implement regular cleaning. Use checklist. Promote positive discipline. Keep workplace pleasant. Management at all levels must be committed to establishing and maintaining the 5S process. This could be a, a sample template of a 5S standardization and sustenance plan where you list down jobs, list down what will be done, the frequency of when it will be done, whether daily or weekly or monthly, quarterly or annually, who shall and what are the supplies needed. After 5S, a work rack could look something like this. You could detect a missing book at a glance. You could have list of content available. In order to make 5S successful, you must get everyone involved. You must integrate the 5S principles into daily work requirements. Communicate need for 5S roles for all participants, how it is implemented. Be consistent in following 5S principles in all areas. Leader in must follow through finish what is started. 5S takes effort and persistence. 5S will bring in benefits to the company. If area was originally an unorganized mess, 5S can improve safety, work efficiency, and productivity. It gives employees a sense of ownership, ensures a clean and orderly work environment, helps employees become aware of their environment and the condition of the tools they use. If area was originally an unorganized mess, the benefit of 5S can be so dramatic that an enterprise might abandon a full-blown lean implementation thinking that the mission is complete. You must remember, 5S is only a starting point. Sustain, the fifth step, is crucial to the success of any lean implementation. A good 5S implementation builds the foundation of continuous improvement. Workplace habits are the intersection of knowledge, skill, and desire. You should have knowledge of what to do, why to do it. You should have the desire of want to do it. And finally, you should have the skill of how to do it. That is how habits will be inculcated. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit.